Yo, what's going on Vikings fans? It is Skullside back again with another Minnesota Vikings video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over five Minnesota Vikings players that I believe will have breakout seasons in this upcoming season. Now, these players are gonna be people on the roster last year. People who may have not gotten a lot of reps or may have not produced the way we thought they would have. There's going to be no rookies on here because I feel like those are really up in the air still. But this list of five guys, uh, after watching just some clips of them and just seeing like how other players around the league develop, I think these are five guys that could really, really take huge steps forward in this upcoming season. And these will be guys we'll be looking back at the end of the year being like, damn, these guys really helped us win a ton of games this year. If they didn't step up, who knows where we would be. So yeah, let's just get right into right, this. Coming on at the number one spot is Ifedi. I think Ifedi is going to have a monster year this year. Now, he is going to be polar opposite sides, probably with Daniil Hunter. You know, Ifedi, he is a guy from Northwestern, seventh round pick, smart kid. He just grinds, and he's not... He's not the most naturally talented player on the Minnesota Vikings defense at all, but he's just someone who puts his nose down and just wants to work. And I feel like guys like that, whether it's in life or around the league, those are guys that will always succeed. You know, no matter what situation, you're going to throw it at Fetty. You know, in this past year, they told him to put on 20 pounds, become more lean, add more muscle. He did that. Who knows what they're telling him right now? I mean, we'll see that during the year. But combine that with Andre Patterson and Fetty's work ethic, I mean, Andre Patterson probably loves this. And, you know, I bet he's also been here. We're bringing in a lot of young D linemen. We're bringing in Michael Pierce. He will be a huge contributor to help Ifedi's success. Anyways, I think Ifedi will have a great year. He would just do his thing. And, yeah, number one spot, Ifedi. All right, coming in at the second spot, the second Minnesota Viking player I think that's going to have a breakout season is Irv Smith. Now, this is the one I am most confident on. I feel like Irv Smith last year, you know, at the beginning of the year, he didn't really get a lot of reps when it was like in games and, you know, reports came out that was just because of the playbook. You know what? That's understandable. Tight end is a tough position to learn in the NFL because you're a wide receiver and you're a lineman. You know, I played tight end in high school and it was incredibly hard to start figuring it out. And Irv Smith, He's athletic. He's not as tall as, like, I guess the traditional tight ends. He's around 6'2". However, he built more like wide receiver. And honestly, Irv was actually pretty good in the run game last year. Towards the end, he struggled early on in the year. However, at the end of the year, he actually was pretty damn good in the running game when it comes to blocking. And then also, he's just a freak in the pass game. I feel like he has a ton of untapped potential. And also, I feel like this will also be a huge uh, contributor to Rudolph getting up in age. You know, Rudolph's getting older. I mean, we can't act like guys like him aren't going to take a step back eventually. And I don't know if it's going to be this year, but definitely Irv will get more reps, and I feel like it would just be overall more production out of Irv Smith in this upcoming season. All right, so coming in at number three, we have Mike Hughes, the cornerback out of UCF. Now, Mike Hughes, first-round pick, he came onto the league. He had that pick six in his first game against the 49ers crazy everybody's like all right this guy's legit and then he tore his acl now i feel like vikings fans are really down on mike hughes and you know what i get it you know last year he didn't really play like a first rounder however you got to remember he's coming off a torn acl that's not uh just some throwaway injury you know not every guy is adrian peterson and i feel like vikings fans fail fail to realize that sometimes and sometimes I, sometimes i do too because you may look at mike hughes and be like oh wow i mean ap came back and he almost won MVP that year or, I mean he did win MVP that year and he had one of the greatest running seasons of all time you know not everybody's Adrian Peterson and it seemed a lot like last year that Mike Hughes he wasn't really getting beat he was just getting he wasn't making the play you know he was in position to make a lot of plays on balls it's just he didn't and maybe that's technique maybe that's just him not, not being as confident as he needs to be I feel like he would get that confidence this year you know because he is the man right now in the in the cornerback room. I mean, yeah, Gladney's coming in. Yeah, uh, Dancer's coming in. But Mike Hughes has been here. He's been under Zimmer. Zimmer typically develops corners very well. I think Mike Hughes could really, really take a step forward in this upcoming year. Now, coming in at number four is my guy, Dakota Dozier. Now, yesterday on Twitter, one of my friends, he hit me up and said, hey, looking at Dakota Dozier as a possible, you know, coming out party next year. And, you know, Dakota, he's 6'4", 3'12". I was looking into him. I really think he could actually just be a solid guy. I'm not saying he's going to 
be like Zach Martin or Quentin Nelson, like other these all pro guards around the league. But if he can get reps and he can, I mean, he's a traditional size for guard. He's everything you want in a guard. Um, I think Dakota Dozier could really take a step forward this year. And if, because honestly, Elfine last year, he was undersized. He just got bullied. And I feel like the Vikings want to go to more of a bigger old line because we've always had the, some of the lightest old lines in the past. And honestly, Dakota Dozier, I feel like he fits in the perfect guard, especially with our scheme, the zone running scheme. And I could really see Dakota Dozier just being solid next year. And then him taking another step forward in the following year. Honestly, I think Dakota Dozier could be a huge just pick up for us i mean he's still he's still young for the most part i mean he still has years left under the under i guess the tank for him um and anyways i think dakota doja can take a huge step forward this year and just be a guy that we can rely on and just be a guy next to bradbury who is actually our fifth guy so yeah coming in at number five is garrett bradbury a rookie first round pick from last year our center the dude who snaps the ball the kirk cousins I think Garrett Bradbury will have a fantastic year for the Minnesota Vikings. We saw glimpses of it last year. You know, some games he'll play great. Some games he'll take a step back. Some games he'll take two steps forward. Next game he'll take three steps back. You know what? That is just how rookies are in the NFL. You know, this is a physical sport. Grown man strength. I mean, you heard it all before. He's in the trenches. He's dirty. He just wants it, too. He seems like a smart guy. Another grinder type of dude that the Vikings brought in. I think Bradbury will just solidify that he is our center for the future. I think at, at the end of the season, we'll be like, all right, we have our guy, Bradbury. We don't need to worry about the center position for the next 10 years. And that is just, I, I really believe that will happen. I mean, if you look at the film, yeah, sometimes he got beat off the ball against really good nose tackles. I mean, you go through the nose tackles the Vikings played last year. I think like four of the first five were pro bowlers or something like that because it was the Falcons beast. Uh, we all know the Packers have great D-line with uh, just the big guys they have at the nose tackle position. You know, he really like, got checked last year. And I think Bradbury would just take another step forward. And I think he will be our center for the future. We'd be looking nowhere else besides him at the center position. And yeah, Garrett Bradbury is our fifth and final player who I think will have a breakout season. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. A little fun video to make because it's more optimistic. And it's not terribly that optimistic where I don't think it's going to happen. I think these are all very realistic. Anyways, thank you so much for walk watching. Comment down below any players I missed. Any players you guys think that could actually have a great year too. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. More videos coming soon. Podcast tomorrow, our second one. Should be up at around 5 o'clock tomorrow. So be on lookout for that. It will be an NFL schedule review. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.